Hello everyone! This video is going to be a little bit different. Instead of unboxing a BJD, we're going to unbox a large haul of blind boxes. I ordered these off Kiko Goods and they came in two separate packages. One of the sets, actually no, two, two of the sets came from Amazon and then two of the sets came from the actual Kiko Goods. I guess they stock some of their stuff in an Amazon warehouse? I don't know. This keychain, along with any duplicates I receive, I will be listing on eBay and you can find that link down in the description in case you want to buy one. Now this one was a sort of discounted dent and ding um, mystery box. They just give you one, you don't get to choose which blind box you want. And I ended up with this one. Lovesick Labs or something? What the puck was that? Do they send hockey pucks in blind boxes now? This character card has like a little scratchy bit on the back. I wasn't sure what that was, but when I translated it, apparently it's an authentication code to show you that this is a authentic product. So in this box, I got the character Lovesick, and I guess it comes with this little detachable ear goop. This little figure is also kind of hefty, so I'm wondering if they weighted the bottom of it. Anyway, I think the character's really cute and all but I don't really like the other characters or things that this box comes with, so I'll probably sell this on eBay. I still have no idea what this little puck is for. Does he sit on it? What is the mystery of the puck? Is it for throwing at people? If it fits, it sits. Anyway, moving along. For the rest of this video, we'll be speeding up a little bit. So without further ado, let's get started on the Mythical Beasts Administration Fish Touch Plan. That is a mouthful. And the first little critter we pulled out is Dafeng. And let me tell you, this was my favorite one, and I am very excited to receive it. I know I'm butchering these names, but I'm trying my best. And here we have our first duplicate. This is the Kirin, and I will be listing him on eBay. And for our final one in the set, we got Fuzu. Fuzu? Something like that. Found a little red blemish behind his ear. I still love this artwork, it's adorable. Okay, for our next set, we'll be opening some more of the Aru Garden Kindergarten series. The first series, not the second. Holy crap, can you believe I got Whipple Wet? I didn't think I would ever get him, so I cheated and bought him off eBay. So I guess I'll be listing this guy on eBay after buying him off eBay. So I uncheated. And he's a hidden figure, by the way. Oh look, another duplicate. I got Horus. eBay. Buy him. Yay, a non-duplicate. I got Anubis. That said had two duplicates. That sucks. This next set is the Sleep Elves. It's the Sky Elf series. We'll be going a little slower in this set because some assembly required. Oh shit, her head popped off. And the first one we got was the one that's on the cover of the boxes, the White Angel. Her wings come detached, so you have to pop them into their little slots on the back. I really like the wings on this one. And for the next little elf, we got the sun. She has pearlized skin and the hair is gorgeous and I love it. She doesn't have anything detached, so there's no assembly required. And last but not least, Dark Angel. She is one of my favorites and the one that I wanted the most and I got her! Yay! 
I don't think my favorite was supposed to come with the detached head, but I guess I'll just pop it back on. Look at her, she's gorgeous. Sorry about the weird influencer hands, my camera wouldn't focus. This next set is Aroma Princess, the Magic Town series. I've been kind of on the fence about this series, but I decided to get it because the more I stare at it, the more I like it. I'm just admiring the box here, and then I've noticed there is a dent in it. But also on the package, the box has like this 3D pattern on it. It's really cool. I would have to say my favorite would be Miss Kafka. I'm not sure if that's her actual name, but that's just what I've seen it translated to. So. And our first princess is the moth. I love how their skin is like si slightly translucent and they have kind of like slightly translucent parts. It's really pretty. And here's the little chest she sits on. On one side it's a heart and then on the other side it's kind of like a mimic. <laughs> and if you don't know what a mimic is, a mimic is a monster that disguises itself as a treasure chest so it can eat people. And here's the card. And for some reason these cards remind me of clo cards. 10 plus cool points if you know what those are from. And next up we have a werewolf. It took me a moment to realize she was clutching a bunny and then the bunny was crying. <laughs> They each come with one of these chests, and all the chests are the same mold, they are just painted different colors. And then the very last one we open today is Demonic Circle. This princess also comes with a little hat. I also noticed her head was loose, so she was probably about to lose her head too. And here's her hat. I feel that when I put it on, it didn't quite fit her right, so I don't know if I put it on correctly. But anyway, in my opinion, I think she looks better without it. And here's our card. I also noticed that they spelled circle wrong. I had a hard time trying to figure out what it was supposed to say, so I had to look it up online. It's circle. Anyway, out of this lot, I have five items for sale. You can find those on eBay. The link is in the description. Anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe.